I mean, I never heard the word indictment. Then all of a sudden, over a period of a couple of weeks, you get four indictments. They do this to try and win an election. Nobody ever thought it was possible. It's done in third world countries. It's not done in this country. And as Henry said, those indictments aren't worth the paper they're written on. They're not worth — they took away free speech. I mean, in one case, you have the Presidential Records Act. I'm allowed to do whatever. You, you got to read it. And the fake charges put forth by the Biden sham, we call it a sham indictment. And, the, you know, the man that's doing it, I really believe he's uh, mentally ill. But this, these are outrageous, and it is an outrageous criminalization of political speech. They're trying to make it illegal to question the results of an election. By the way, you have to see the pundits, even pundits that hate me with a passion, very liberal, very far left, they're saying, you can't do that. You're not going to have anything left. But only a party that cheats at elections would make it illegal to question those elections. That's the only ones that would really make it difficult. If you can't challenge a rigged election, think of it. We're not looking to do it. We want — you know, they don't go after the people that rigged the election. They go after the people that want to find out what the hell happened. It's a disgrace.